Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you my top 10 shave videos that were never filmed. Now before we get started, I know a lot of people are going to have this lingering question going on inside their head. How do you do a top 10 on something that never happened? Let me give you a quick breakdown of how the Soap Thing Project used to be back when I was in the States. So I'd be in my house, I'd be walking through the house, not doing anything related to wet shaving necessarily, and then all of a sudden I would stop dead in my tracks and a light bulb would go off in my head for an idea to do a shave video. So I would drop what I'm doing and I'd go into my walk-in closet and grab all the stuff that I could think of to make this work, and I'd set it up in my photo box and take a picture of it, and then at some point or another, I would have to work it into the schedule of shave videos to get filmed and put up on the project. So as you can imagine, once I found out that the Air Force was going to be sending me to Turkey for 12 months, obviously I had to cut out a lot of content that was originally going to be set up for the spring and summer for, for 2022. So I guess you could say this is my top 10 shave of the week photos that I was supposed to make into shave videos but never had the opportunity. Let's take a look. Okay, so number 10 was actually cobbled together at the last minute and this was supposed to be the second to the last video I did before I packed up my camera gear and left the States. And there just wasn't time in the schedule for it. At a certain point I just wanted to be done making shave videos so I could spend a week or so with my wife and not really have to deal with uh, the camera and with doing shave videos and editing. I just wanted to put it to a close and so I skipped over this one and a few other ones to give myself about a week, week and a half where I wasn't doing any videos. And this actually ended up being the very last shave I did in the States before I got on the plane. I left this stuff on my countertop and uh, did a shave with it the morning I got on the plane and put it away and walked out the door. So as you can see, uh, this, uh, this shaving brush here is the Viking Shaving Soaps 22mm Odin's Beard. And that was a brand new brush when I took this uh, photo. I think I used it once or twice just to break it in a little bit. And then I was going to use it on this shave video, but that obviously never happened. And then you had Murphy and McNeil Gale Lock, which is kind of a uh, a sophisticated, slightly dated, woody, spicy sort of scent. It kind of is a more sophisticated take on Old Spice. Not on paper it isn't, but that's kind of how it shakes out when you smell it. And then Yvonne Musk, I think, pairs very, very well with the... Uh, Gail Locke. Uh, I, I really miss Yvonne Musk. I love that stuff. I also really, really miss my Gillette Slim Adjustable. I am just kicking myself that I didn't bring that razor with me. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get my hands on a vintage Gillette because I started out on vintage Gillettes when I started wet shaving in 2017. And you know what? My shave den hasn't been the same without one. So I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, so for number nine, we have the Soap Thing Brush by Opus Shaving. And then we got A&E Asian Pear and the Blackland Era. This uh, video was originally supposed to be my, uh, my final thoughts on the Blackland Era after using it, oh, a couple dozen times. But ultimately, I decided that I had pretty much said what I wanted to say about it with my previous... Blackland era videos and there was no need to to beat a dead horse. So this uh, ultimately got cut from the Soap Thing project simply because it was not useful like I thought it would be. 
Okay, number eight is actually pretty straightforward. We've got a 24 millimeter Shave Max Synthetic and the uh, WSP Cedarwood Shaving Soap with uh, some ProRazzo Red. And this was uh, supposed to be my review of the AP Shave Co. Penny Shaver, which, uh, long story short, is a cartridge razor that can be resharpened. And so you can use it a lot, lot, lot more than, uh, than any normal cartridge razor, like a Gillette Fusion or a Schick cartridge razor. You're supposed to be able to use it something like 60 times before it's no good anymore. So this is another one that got cut towards the end of the project when I was in the States. And it came down to there were just other things that I was more interested in my audience seeing than this. At a certain point, as much as I want to show everybody everything, I knew I had a limited amount of time before I wasn't going to have access to my, to my big collection. And this just didn't seem that important to to show the audience and do a review on it when I could uh, uh, bring some other more interesting things to the project. So that's why this one got cut. Okay, coming in at number seven, we have 345 Soaps Rendezvous. And the brush is from Dogwood Handcrafts, and it's uh, their best interpretation at Matador Red, which was a Pontiac GTO color back in the 1970s. And he did a really good job with that one. I was very impressed. So that's a uh, Dogwood Handcrafts brush, badger brush. And then we have the Blackland Era once again. And this soap was a dupe of um, Versace Porome. So we have this massive 6.7 ounce uh, eau de toilette that I was going to use after the shave. And honestly, the reason this one got cut is because it got pushed to the side in favor of something else. And then I completely forgot about it. And by the time I wanted to get around to featuring it on the project, it was too little too late. Okay, at number six, we got Shannon Soap's Iberia with the Razor Rock Lupo 72. We got a black and green metallic brush from Craving Shaving, and that's got a uh, Boss Synthetic from AP Shave Co. I think that's a G5B. And then we have a little sample of Creed Bois de Portugal, which is what the soap is inspired by. And the reason this one got cut is the scent strength on the soap wasn't that good, to be honest with you. It was like a 1 out of 5, which under normal circumstances would be unacceptable. And so it was kind of a little bit of a letdown, a little bit of a disappointment, let's, let's say. And I just kind of pushed it out of the way, saying, well, I'll do it later. And it was another one of those... Uh, Shape of the Week photos that I just kind of forgot about, and by the time I remembered that I still had it and was on the schedule, it was too late to film it. Okay, number five is one of those where I cannot believe I kicked this one to the right just over and over again until finally I didn't have enough time to do it. There were too many other things in the project that were higher priority. It, it kind of sucks because this is an amazing combo. As you can see, we got Angora Soap's Midnight Lavender. We got Fine Lavender Pour Homme. We got the uh, AP Shave Co. Black on Clear Acrylic Resin with a uh, 24mm G5B Boss Synthetic. Got the Razor Rock Hawk Standard. And then Salvatore Ferragamo. F Black Porome was the uh, fragrance that I was going to chase the shave with. Mel from BBS Live would have loved this. So, like I said, it, it got cut from the project because I kept procrastinating and then ran out of time. Number four was supposed to have been my tutorial on how to shave with a double-edged safety razor and shaving soap and a brush and things like that. The reason this got cut was because... I kept, I kept putting it off like a lot of other ones. I kept procrastinating on it, mostly because I knew it was going to be really time consuming and I was just frankly lazy and spent a long time where I just didn't want to do it. And then finally I got to where it was close to time to leave and it was too late. So we got ProRazzo Blue shaving cream in a tube. We got Leah Aftershave Balm. We got Spike Aftershave Splash. We got the Merker Progress and the... Uh, AP Shave Co. I forget what that uh, that handle is called, but it's Indigo Blue with a uh, black and 
black and gray synthetic on it, 24 millimeter. It's good stuff. So this one, unfortunately, got got cut because I just kept putting it off because I, I wasn't that interested in doing it. Oh, number three. I can tell you right now, this would have been controversial because my, my goal with this one was to compare the effectiveness, not the skin food ingredients, not how good it is for your face, but just the the effectiveness of shaving with a can of Edge uh, shaving gel versus a really high quality shaving soap. I've actually done a combination like this before off camera, and in my opinion, the, the shave quality difference is not as much as you might think, at least in my personal opinion. So that, that would have been the controversial part, is my attitude towards which one is a more comfortable shave than the other. I think the Declaration Grooming uh, soap would have won, but not by as much of a margin as you might think. They were actually very close. But we've got Declaration Grooming Epiphenomenon. we got Spanish Aqua Velva, the Razor Rock Mamba 70, Edge Shaving Gel, and we got the uh, AP Shave Co., the same one from the previous Shave of the Week photo with that uh, same uh, black and gray 24 millimeter synthetic. To be honest, I have no idea why I kept putting this one off. This is actually quite an old photo that was from 2021, and I just kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. For some reason, I don't know. Maybe I just thought, you know, I needed to be in the right mood for it, but I was really excited about this one, and then when it got down to where there was not really time left to do it, I was kicking myself. <laughs> Number two. Okay, tell me that that is not the coolest looking Shave of the Week photo you've ever seen. It's definitely, definitely crazy. Uh, the, <laughs> the first thing I'm drawn to is that turn and shave brush, which I got used on uh, the Murphy McNeil Marketplace. It's got this really weird semi-translucent flame looking thing at the bottom with uh, kind of a cranberry red uh, towards the top of the brush. And then it's got a uh, Boss Synthetic from somewhere. I don't remember where they said that came from. But First Line Shave Red label was a dupe of Dior Fahrenheit, which is a fragrance from the late 80s that had... Um, it was kind of a leather scent. It was a uh, had kind of a petrol, gasoline, kind of funky leather smell that I actually really like. And this, this setup was just too perfect. Uh, the reason this got cut was because I kept putting it off for too long, and then it got to where it was just out of season. Like, when spring rolled around, I was like, I can't justify shaving with this on camera. It's it's too out of season. And so that, that kind of screwed me out of, uh, out of doing this video because I'm a very seasonal shaver, and there was no way I was going to do this, this combination in the springtime. This one's actually going to have to get re-photographed because I no longer have the Wet Shaving Club winning razor. I sold it to a uh, gent behind a scent who actually really loves it. So this is one that no matter what I do is going to have to get re-photographed. Okay, number one. Uh, I just, I, I cannot believe, cannot believe that I didn't make this into a shave video. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess this was uh, supposed to be kind of right before I packed everything up to come out here to Turkey, and it was one of those things where I guess I thought I had something else I had to prove that was more important than this. But it's a damn good combination. We got the Sea Forth Sea Ice Lime, which is a mentholated version of the Sea Spice Lime from Spearhead. Royal Lime Aftershave. We got the uh, Gillette Slim Adjustable right there. And the brush is from Aloha Shaving, Ken Klitschko. And it's got a imitation bore knot and it's synthetic. Oh, man. This is one of those shaves where I'm going to have to save this and, uh, and redo it when I get back to the States. And there you have it. My top 10 shave videos that were never filmed. I don't know if any of these will ever actually get used to make a shave video. I know that some of them are going to have to be re-photographed because they have uh, either hardware or software in them that I no longer own, so that's going to present a problem, but 
When I get back to the States, it remains to be seen if these will ever actually get filmed the way I had originally intended. So that'll be the video for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.